Namaste friends, uh, welcome and I am grateful that you are here. I came across a very interesting question around religion or like what really is supreme religion as such. The best explanation and most interesting one. The fourth over here on my screen, I be, the same thing is what I am explaining over here. So yeah, I hope this is clear enough. Yeah. Or the text from this uh, Skanda one, Bhagavad Purana or Srimad Bhagavatam, second chapter, sixth verse or sloka says, Samve punsam paro dharmo yato bhaktir dhokshaje ahetukya pratihata yayatma suprasiddhati uh, which is how it is uh, pronounced in English as well. And Sanskrit is a very pure language, about 4,000 grammar rules and uh, almost like a mathematics. So uh, any part of the world, this will have to be pronounced in a similar way. So the su supreme occupation, an occupation uh, in this sense is uh, the one that provides means of existence or the one which is, um, uh, which again is my personal belief is obligation towards the society or dharma. So the supreme occupation, dharma, obligation to society or uh, in this context, uh, the one which provides a means of existence or livelihood uh, or dharma for all the humanity is that by which men can attain uh, to loving devotional service unto the transcendental, transcendental Lord. Such devotional service must be unmotivated and uninterrupted in order to completely satisfy the self. So it has to be without any ego, without any selfishness, without any sense of um, doing a specific purpose and we just surrender onto the Lord, the Almighty Creator that you believe in. And um, with that intention, if anything is done, uh, that becomes the Supreme Dharma. In this context, in a lot of uh, similar shlokas or similar verses, we also found in uh, Bhagavad Gita, which is like a very shortened version out from the Mahabharata, large uh, ancient Indian civilization text. There also uh, we see things like um, yeah, verse 18.66, which is again talking about the same thing. The Lord Krishna says to Arjuna that, you know, you can surrender or abandon all varieties of dharmas and just surrender unto me alone and I shall uh, liberate you from all sinful reactions. Just do not fear Arjuna. Without any sort of ego and attachment, and then uh, if you are ultimately servicing the Supreme Creator or the Lord uh, without anything in return, I think that is a very good way to look at Supreme Dharma uh, for humanity. I hope this helps. You have a good day. Thanks for watching. Namaste.